Welcome to Furry Friend Zone. Today we're going to show you, this is a little four month old toy poodle. Gucci is her name and she's absolutely adorable. I've already given her a bath and um, dried her hair. She is nervous. So with puppies, their first, their first haircut, you wanna take it nice and slow and introduce them to all the new noises and tools slowly. So what I'm gonna do today is just show you a face trim and a nail trim on a puppy's first groom. And then we'll do the pads of her feet and her sanitary. And generally I don't do the body. Um, they were, um, she was requested to have, they want same length all over. I'm gonna see how she is. And I told them that if she doesn't seem too stressed, I'll do it. But if she seems too anxious, it should probably wait till at least the next groom. So we'll show you that now. So what I'm doing first is just giving her a complete brush out. And I, again, I'm using a slicker brush, but it's a small little slicker brush just because she's so tiny. I don't even know how much, she probably weighs like, I don't even think she would weigh five pounds. She's adorable. Hey, Miss Gucci, I love your name too. Very, very cute. And you're being such a good girl. You just have to talk to them a lot and take your time. And just reassure them that it's all good, right? It's all good, you're still a little bit wet. Puppies, you have to really be careful drying their heads because you don't want to scare them too much. She probably is due for a haircut, but I don't want to push my luck with her. So we'll see how she gets through brushing. See how it's pulling there a bit? And then again, after you've brushed her, be gentle because puppy hair it's easy to brush it shouldn't be matted at all yet because she's only four months old is she five months old four months old good girl what a good girl you are yes look at that little tail yeah are you cute and then take your comb just make sure everything's brushed out I'm gonna have to dry her a little bit more on this side. She, she's shaking, poor thing. It's okay. It's okay, Gucci. Yeah, you're a good girl, aren't you? Yes, you will. And you want snuggles? You want snuggles? She's actually being very, very good. Okay, so she's pretty much brushed out. <laughs> Where are you in there, eh? Where are you? So now I'm gonna trim her nails. Again, I'm gonna flip the foot this way. Her nails are dark, and if, I don't know if you can see that, how tiny they are. So I'm just basically gonna tip the ends off because you don't wanna get the quick, especially when she probably has never had her nails clipped before and they are like little razor blades. Good girl. It's okay, you're fine. You're fine. Good girl. See if there's a dew claw. No dew claw. They're so, so tiny. So now I'm going to turn the pads of her feet. She's never heard the clipper before. See? Now when I get to the front of her, I'm going to show her the clipper. Just kind of run the clipper right across the top of her foot. Her feet are literally like the tiniest things. Tiny dogs are actually 
sometimes harder to groom than bigger ones because everything is so feels so brittle and dainty and little and if i don't have my glasses on i can't see getting old sucks Hey, Miss Gucci. There's a little paw, too. You're being such a good girl. I'm going to show her the picture now. Look, see that? What is that? It's not going to hurt you. No, you're being so good. Some puppies would be freaking out. She's being an angel. And you just have to do everything really slowly and just keep talking to them and reassuring them it's okay. It's okay, love me. You're being a good girl. And you have to be careful and aware that the clipper can get them itchy so, and you don't want them licking down there too much. So just do it, run it across very lightly. Watch their legs when you lift them up. And just trim up what you can. They wanted some of her body cut. Let's see how much this one will take off. Look at that, eh? Wow. See if this takes off anything. So it's taking off a bit. Okay, then. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, it's a good girl. I'm not going to take off any more than this because I can just scissor the rest of her. And this is just taking off a bit and it won't take as long because I'm not going short. Plus, if I went short, I don't, people out don't realize how different they look and they get disappointed. So, you do puppies enough and you know what people like. It's okay, it's okay. So when you're using an attachment comb, you have to go over them a few times to get it even. And like I said, because this is just her first room, I don't want it to take too long. I wouldn't normally even do a full haircut, but this is, they wanted a little bit off, so this is a compromise. And I can just scissor the legs. And you do have to take the noose off, just hold them really tight because you can't get around their neck with a noose on. So just make sure you hold them. She's very good, she's not squirming much. Some puppies will be a lot harder to do. Good girl. You're a good girl. Yes, you are. Okay. So the feet and the legs, just brush it all forward. And then you can just round it. Oh, I don't want to cut that white, cute little patch off. And then just round the foot. You just want it slightly tidied. Take your comb.
Okay, so everything's brushed forward and I would just take the scissors, and just create a bang right around the eyes. And this is where it can be tough with a puppy because they like to move and you're being an angel. Yes, you are and you're adorable. You're so good. And you don't want to, you still want them to look like a puppy. So see how they have the little round, the bowl, oh, yeah, I know. look at your beautiful eyes. Oh my goodness. So what I'd suggest, because I know it's nerve wracking using sharp scissors, is get the ballpoint scissors. And you can get these real tiny, tiny ones and just go right in there and just lightly trim the hair that's sticking in her, in her eye. And you don't have to do much. It doesn't take a whole lot. You can just use your fingers to move it up. And she's being so good. And this poor little thing's already had an ear infection. So I already cleaned her ears with um, the solution that, that they actually brought for her. can't get over how good she is. She's an angel. Are you adorable? See how fluffy the hair is? Like you have to literally keep poofing it up with the comb because you'll miss spots. And it's so easy to make it uneven. The moment they shake their head, you, you see spots. And then I'm just gonna do her beard just a little bit and just round her face. And again, I brush that all forward and just hold her, her nose and jaw tight. Well, relatively tight so that she can't stick her tongue out because she can literally slice her tongue open on the scissors and that would not be a good scene. Stay hun, good girl, good girl. What a good girl you are. Yes, you are. So just trim around her bum. I wouldn't take a clipper to it. I mean, some groomers do. I don't like it. It's just too sensitive for the first groom. Just, I'm not, I'm not going to even touch her tail because you want it to grow out. Right? So just, you can just go over anywhere where you think there might be spots. She hasn't done a shape for me yet. There's our sweet little puppy all groomed up with her little intro puppy groom. So I hope you found this video helpful. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more informative videos.